Hey guys, what is up and I welcome you to episode number 12 of League of Myths. Definitely make sure to stay tuned to the very end for another sweet Phoenix giveaway. But jumping to the first myth, a myth that is asked so often on almost every single episode. Can Skarner use his ultimate and then use Thresh's lantern? Or on the other hand, can Skarner use his ultimate on someone that is about to take Thresh's lantern? So this myth was actually a bit more interesting than I thought it would be. And of course there are many different test case scenarios for this one. With the first one being the one you just saw, which is first I use my ultimate and then then I tried clicking the lantern and clearly it does not work. The next scenario we tested was what if the target that I'm using my ultimate on can use the lantern and then bring Skarner back. But the same principle applies and they cannot click the lantern either. But here is where things get a bit more interesting. What if I try to use my ultimate on a target that is about to use the lantern? And if I use it just before she actually takes the lantern, it does not seem to work. And of course in this scenario right here, if I use it too early, then it'll just act the way it should, which is just me ulting the middle and nothing else really happening. But what if the Skarner ultimate is timed even better, precisely just as the Nidalee is about to take the lantern? To do this, I position myself slightly to the right of the lantern. This time I use my ultimate just after she clicks the lantern, and in this case it actually grabs her right out of it and completely cancels it out. And the last thing to try out was the opposite. What if I use my ultimate and the lantern at the exact same time rather than the ultimate and then the lantern? And unfortunately, it does not work. So from this what I understood is that it's all about the stack. Whichever action happens second will be the one that will probably prevail. Meaning if I use my ultimate just after Nidalee uses the lantern it will work, but the same cannot be said for the opposite. Jumping to the second myth submitted by Fabian. Can Vayne condemn into Trundle, Jarvan the Fourth, or Nivea's Wall? So we all know and love Vayne for the fact that she can actually stun people while being an ADC, or I guess marksman. But can the same be said for Trundle's Pillar and Nivea's Wall or Jarvan's Ultimate? Things that act just like walls and are pretty much impassable. And as you can see, it does not work on Trundle's Pillar. The next one to test out is of course Jarvan, and just as Jarvan uses his ultimate, I condemn him right outside of his own ultimate and he simply goes right through the wall. And for the final test case scenario, Anivia with her own wall, and the same thing applies, she just goes right through it. So clearly these walls aren't actually walls. The next myth submitted by Nick, is it possible for Oriana Ultimate to make someone go over a wall? So for this one there were obviously different test case scenarios and I'm just gonna glue them all together so you guys can see. We tried doing this on different walls, all of course the thinnest ones we can find on Summoner's Rift. We tried positioning the ball closer or farther away from Katarina in this case. And it seemed like no matter what position or wall, they will not go over it. And the final myth for this episode submitted by Hello12345M on Twitter is What if Fiora ults a Master Yi just as he uses his Alpha Strike? The end result of this myth was actually surprising to me as exactly what I thought won't happen, happened. Because as the Master Yi is using his Q on the minions, the Fiora ultimate is still following him around and even hitting him as well. I honestly thought that Master Yi's Q will cancel Fiora's ultimate so I was pleasantly surprised. And we did one more test case scenario, this time with a bit more minions to make Master Yi Q last longer. And the exact same thing applies, she will continue to hit him. So that is it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, please do throw in a like if you did. You can also write down what myth you want me to test down below under this video, tweet me at Twitter, or on my Facebook fan page. But on to the giveaway. First I want to congratulate at MCGrebs on Twitter for winning last week's giveaway. For this week I will be giving away the Phoenix Nasita and Demora, which is their mouse and mousepad combo. I've said it before and I'll say it again, these products are amazing and I am extremely happy to be able to offer you guys these products thanks to the sponsorship. And to make things even better, it's very easy for a chance to win. All you have to do is like this video, like my Facebook fan page and the Facebook fan page of Phoenix. And simply write a comment on a post I make on my Facebook fan page as to why you want to win and that is it. Good luck to everyone participating in this giveaway, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Peace.